piece of work. Parmesan looking lean, great definition there. Not an ounce of spare. Mickey Van collects the judges' scorecards, and I'm quite sure they'll all have scored it 10 8 for the champion. One, two. Look at that double hook. One to the head, then to the body. Little tip tap didn't matter. Those body shots are the ones you can take all the steam out of you. The, the body shots really are more painful than getting hit in the chin. You know, I've said this before, the body shots stay with you and they leave a mental impression on your mind as opposed to getting hit on the chin and knocked down. But Walker did the sensible thing. He went down, he took a count and he got through the round. Mickey Van has a little glance into the eyes of David Walker. The eyes seem to be relatively clear. How much longer they'll stay clear? Well, we'll have to see. And Parmesan being first straight away. Double jab and then drawing down to the body. Walker looking for that right hand round the corner. Parmesan keeping Walker at bay with that jab. He's not loading up and he's just flicking it in his face and he shoots it down to the stomach, then comes back with a right hand counter. Well, he does look very strong. And as we said, David Walker's best weight probably is welterweight. And he's in against a genuine light middle took the title the first time in June of 2000. Well, he defeated a very good German, Ohan Delibas. He had actually beaten Robin Reed for the silver medal in the 92 Olympics in Barcelona. This beautiful boxing by Karmazan. Walker needs to get up close to him, get his chest in his head, in his, ch in his chest, get his head in his chest and just start to punch. He really has to try and fight. Take this kid right out of his stride completely. He's giving him too much room to box. Amazon just taking his time, looking for a target, trying the body shot again. Well read by Walker. Amazon is uh, losing confidence. Bit of a slap. Walker using the, the crossover defensive style occasionally. Well, Amazon can box and he can fight and he can move. Parmesan just motioning to the referee, he's been caught with the head. But Walker's, that's what Walker's got to do, he's got, oh! Left hand, left hand, Walker through his own left, got himself caught. Down for the second time. He says, I'm OK, Mickey Van. I hope he is. I hope he is, he's got to keep that defence tight. Parmesan has actually cut. Parmesan has cut to the outside of his left eye, he's got Walker down again. The tiles come in. They don't want to see him take any more. Well, I wonder, was that a little bit premature? Rob McCracken has said he doesn't want any more. He's up at eight, and he's called it off. Parmesan was cut. Now, I wonder, did they realize that, Duke? Parmesan was cut, but they decided, despite the cut, that Walker was taking too many hard shots and has been stopped midway through the third round. What do you think of that, Duke? Yeah, no, that's about right. That's a good call by the corner. You know, that fight now will live to fight another day. Rather than let him go on and take unnecessary punishment, it yeah, wouldn't have done to, uh, taken away his confidence too much. OK, he was out of his depth and we saw that from the start. However, this kid can go back now and regroup. He hasn't taken a sustained beating and it's a good call by the corner, perfectly timed. Well, it was on the cards even before they stepped into the ring. It was, as we've said before, going to be a very, very big ask of David Walker to uh, make the jump from domestic level to this sort of level at all. Alas, he couldn't quite make that jump, and as ever, he gave it his best shot. Look at that work by Karmazan. Walker, as he threw his left, got himself caught with a left hook from the Russian champion, and a very good Russian champion he is, too. Straight through the middle by Karmazan. Lovely little right by him, and he threw the left simultaneously, and that's what fooled Walker. It was the sheer hand speed and the accuracy of Karmazan's punching that made all the difference. There's the right, there's the left. Walker... No answer to that, Downey went on the corner, I think, decided they didn't want to see David Walker take any more shots. Well done from Mick Hennessy, well done from Roman Karmazan. <laughs> David Walker gives him a hug. I doubt if David Walker will ever be in against anybody just as good as this fellow again. And Karmazan goes back to his corner, and more importantly, will go back to St. Petersburg, still the European champion. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and uh, seven seconds of the third round, uh, the referee, Mr. Mickey Van, has called a halt to the contest in the interest of uh, David Walker's own safety, the winner, and still the European champion, 
Denmark and he's defended here in London in Alexandra Palace. Mickey Van smiles, gives David Walker a little pat and the, said that uh, was for your own good, my old son. Block and he is absolutely the, right. Uh, European uh, belt to the light middleweight champion of Europe, uh, Roman Kamazin. General Secretary of the British Boxing Board of Control and representing the EBU here tonight, Simon Block puts the European Championship light middleweight belt around the waist of the man who brought it all the way from Russia, Roman Karmazan, a very good champion. Well, we knew that, how good a challenger David Walker was going to be. Well, we soon find out. But David Walker has done very well indeed. What remains for David Walker?